Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can install the MailerLite action into your Flow Builder. First of all, you go to the ManyChat App Store and you select the MailerLite app. And there you will see the button which says install app. You can see that here on top. And once you click that, you will be sent to the next page, which will look like the one you see right here. And then you will click the install button here at the bottom of your screen, which will take you to a list of all your installed pages in your ManyChat account. And then you select a page where you want to install it. So let's get to it. I'll click this page right here. And as you can see, it's successfully installed. So I will go to the app settings, which will only ask for a MailerLite API key and a chat templates license. If you don't have one, just enter this one. You can try it for free 50 times each month. And in this field, you enter your MailerLite API key. I will just enter something in there. You click save and then you go to the flow builder and either you select the demo flow that we include in the description or you can also build a flow of your own of course. I will show you what a sample flow will look like. On this page you can see in the flow that we're um, including in this action or app. This is just a simple demo but um, it will show you how it works. First you just welcome your user, ask for their email address or it may be part of your flow somewhere else. We also ask for their phone number right here. Uh, if you don't do that, that's fine. But if you do, it will also be sent to your MailerLite campaign or subscriber list. Then at the end of this flow where we asked the data, as you can see, we also utilize the new feature of ManyChat which will check if the user responds to the uh, user input question. And if they don't, we'll just ask if they are still there or something like that. And then when they have given us all their data, we will just thank them. And at the end, we will send the information to MailerLite. So what does that look like? Um, you just, I will show it in two steps. First of all, I will show you what it will look like if you click a fresh action. As you can see, it will look like this. You go to the action menu, you select MailerLite, select action, click this one. And all you have to do is select a group. These are the three groups that we have in our MailerLite demo account. And this will automatically be retrieved from your account by using the API key that you have given in the app setup. This is where you select the phone system field because you, of course, let your user opt in to be able to um, use their information. By the way, this is email, not phone. So system user fields, email, and phone, select phone, save the window, and actually that's all there is to it. So now I'll just delete this one because the one up there is exactly the same. As you can see, I click on it. This will display the number of your group, but if you click it again, you can see it's just fine. This is, again, all there is to it. This will do exactly what you want when your user completes the flow or wherever you want to put the action. 
it will send the information to your MailerLite account. And if you don't have groups, that's no problem. It will just put the user in MailerLite, but it doesn't segment it by groups. So I hope you, um, it helped, this video helped you. It wasn't a really long one because it's so easy. So I suggest you just um, try it out. MailerLite is one of our favorites. You get a thousand subscribers for free. And I think it's something like 12,000 emails or something like that a month. So um, it's a really nice service. So if you don't use it, you might want to check it out. Thank you.